Now, what we're not going to focus on is a bunch of boring notebooks or anything like that. What I've been actually publishing a lot of recently is actually word searches on Amazon KDP. Believe it or not, word search books are still selling quite a lot. So in today's side hustle, we're going to look at creating word search books, publishing them and making a lot of money. We're going to use BookBolt, ChatGPT and Midjourney to create this side hustle. Look at this, for example, here is a 2023 spring word search book. Now, what I want to pull your attention to is actually down here. Right down here, you can see the estimated average sales. So there's average moving sales of 464. You multiply that by the price of $6.98. That means they're bringing in $3,238 every month just on this one word search book. Here's another example, large print word search, four in one puzzle collection right now, average moving sales at 456. So if we take 456, we multiply that by that sales price of 1238, they're bringing in revenue of $5,645 every month. And that is just, again, on one book. So just imagine if we created more than that using the power of AI. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, how do I create a word book that feels like it's gonna take a long time? Of course, we'd had to scramble all the words up, think about what the words actually are, design them, publish them, how does that all work? And that does sound like a lot. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about all that because of chat GPT and because of BookBolt. Now, right here we are on BookBolt. This is what I was using earlier to show you some of those examples, but BookBolt has a studio design that actually creates these word search books for you automatically. All you have to do is plug in what words you wanna use. Let me walk you through exactly how to do this so you can start taking massive action today publish your first word search book and start making some money. Step number one, we gotta figure out what we want to do our word search on. So it could be, you know, seasonally themed. It could be something that maybe you're passionate about, or it could be based on a genre, such as a word search book for kids or a word search book for adults, whatever you think would be right. And actually, I not only tried this, I decided to buy my own book and here is a copy of my own word search book. Now this one, I decided to use dogs, a dog themed word search book, and it has all the pages and Amazon prints this on demand when a customer orders it. So let's see, what do we want to do? Well, let's say we wanna create a fall time word search. We can see right here's a spring word search. Why not we do fall? So I'm gonna type in the keyword fall right here, leave everything else the same, hit enter, and then let's see what we have. Oh, there's actually not a lot of search for this right now. You have quote falls and fallen phrases, no fall themed puzzle books, at least not right now. I'm gonna be creating one right here with you on today's video. So that's actually a good thing. And knowing the fact that we have the spring word search back here, selling at this rate, once we hit that fall season every single year, that could potentially continue to pick up for us. So now that we have our fall word search idea in mind, the next thing we need to do is get ready to create our words and put it into the book Bulb studio, which will then take our book and be able to get it ready to publish on Amazon. Here's step number two. We wanna go over to ChatGPT. If you're not familiar with ChatGPT, it is an AI language model that can write and talk to you like it's a real person. It's absolutely mind blowing and it's gonna be the source of some upcoming side hustle videos so if you're interested in this kind of content make sure you subscribe and comment down below so i know that you're interested in learning more about some really cool side hustles that i have going on that you may want to know about so what you want to do is go over to chat.openai.com that'll take you right here now right now i'm using a browser you can do this on your phone as well if you want to but i'm going to use chat gpt 3.5 version 3.5 Right now, as of the recording of this video, they do have GPT-4 out, but it does cost you a fee, a monthly fee to get that upgrade. Eventually, GPT-4 will be available to the masses. I do pay for the upgraded version, but I'm gonna show you the free version because this is how simple this really is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let ChatGPT know what we're up to. And here's what I'm gonna say. We are going to create a word search book together. It's going to be fun. Now check out what it's gonna do here. So, great, let's get started. What kind of theme or subject would you like the word search book to have? Check that out. What's really cool about ChatGPT is as we have this conversation, it's gonna remember what we've been talking about. And in that way, if I wanna change a theme, if I wanna change some ideas, if I wanna just throw away the whole idea of a word search and shift over to crossword puzzle, it'll keep everything we've talked about in mind so we can continue to have a natural conversation. Let's do some words based on the season of fall. 
I will, would need at least 200 words. Actually, I'm going to put 250 words. Let's see what happens. Look, immediately it starts generating you all of the different words you can use for a fall related theme. And you can see it did it right here. So we're on word 139. But remember, I asked for 250 words. All I got to do is come down here and just type in continue and it'll continue on. And there we go. We got our 250 words. The next step is either in Google Sheets or in Excel, you want to take every single word that ChatGPT generated for you. So we're going to come up here to the top and I'm going to just copy all of the words that were generated. And what I'm going to do is plug them into this Excel document. So I'm just going to copy and paste and right there we are all the way down and there we go. So all the way down to 250 and here's all of our words. And that's all you have to do. Just leave it just like that in column A. I'm going to hit file, save as. And then what you want to do is you want to save this as a CSV file. And usually your computer will give you the option to save it as a CSV. So in this case, you just come down here and we're going to select CSV. And I'm going to just type in fall themed words. Hit save. And now I have my document all ready to go. And that's the magic of ChatGPT. Let's move on to the next step. The next step is really going to be about taking this and having BookBolt design our word search. Here's what we do. Come over back to BookBolt once you sign up. Come up here to the top right hand side, right next to your name. And then click on the studio. It's going to immediately open up the studio for us and we're going to start our project. Now there's a couple things I personally like to do when it comes down to creating these books. So first thing you want to do is on the, on the left hand side, go to project and hit new project. And we're going to select a paperback. In this example, I'm going to name this as fall themed word search. And what I like to do personally is I like to aim for large print, just something I like. You can do whatever, you know, size that you want. I just like to do that eight and a half by 11. So that's what I'm going to select. Uh, black and white interior with white paper is what I'm looking for here. And I'm going to select a total of 50 pages. The reason for that is I want to leave enough pages to add the solutions to all the different word searches at the end. If you have a total of 25 word searches or 24, you need to have enough pages on the back end to show what the solutions are as well. So I'm going to select 50 and that's for that purpose. We're going to hit create project and right here we are. Now, before we get into designing the cover, let's put in the content, which is our words. We come over here to the left hand side and you'll see this funny looking icon. This is the template designer. Click on that and up pops this incredible document of anything you can create. Look through all the different things you can do here. This isn't just about word searches. You can use BookBolt for any type of design in the future, but we're going to scroll back up here and we're going to select word search right here. Click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I want to select the first half. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we're going to be adding the solutions to the back of the book. And then the rest of it, BookBolt will automatically complete the solutions for you as well. So we're going to hit next. And then I like to give myself about an inch at the top. That way you can add some fun designs if you want to. Maybe we'll put in some fall themed, you know, leaves and whatnot at the top just to give it a little bit more flair before we go to publish. And then I give about 0.5 inches to the left. Then I select my font color to black. You can leave it at gray if you want to. This is totally your option. I just like the black font. Max words, I'll leave it five. Diagonal words, I'm going to select yes. And if you wanted to mess with people, you can also do reverse words. I'll make this easy though. We'll just do diagonal and the rest of it. I won't put any reverse words into this particular word search. I'm going to select random words. I always like to select this just in case for whatever reason, my CSV file does not have enough words. I think in this case it will. And then what we want to do is make sure that you click add solution after the puzzle pages. That's what's going to automatically generate page 26 to page 50 in our example. Then what you do, click this blue button right here, choose CSV file. And that is the file that we created off of Excel or off of Google Sheets based on what chat GPT generated for us. All right, so there we go, uploading the fall themed words. And then when you're ready to go, hit submit. BookBolt will take about a couple seconds and then right here we go. You can see it automatically generated all the different word searches. So check that out. Here's the words down below. It's already scrambled up. And then if we scroll down to the very bottom here at page 26 or after, there's our solutions. Simple and easy as that. Now, starting here on page one, you have an option. You can do a couple different things. If you want, you can add some flair to this, such as some themed words, themed images, whatever you'd like. In fact, there's a couple options that BookBold allows you to do. The first one is right up here on the left hand side. These little icons right here, you click on that. And these are various shapes that you can add. 
So for example, if we're thinking about a fall theme, here's a good one. We can put a leaf right in there. Now keep in mind, I selected black and white. So when Amazon goes to publish my book and somebody buys it, it's gonna be printed in black and white in the interior. So if you're gonna use a colorful image, just keep in mind what that may look like when it's printed in black and white. So you can take this around and we can put this up here if you want. If you want, if you click right here, you can add different text, either a heading, multi-line, circular, bridge text, or variants. For example, if we click on this right here, select everything, and then let's just do puzzle number one. You can then, if you want to change the font or the size, I'll just leave it like that for now. What you could do, click right here, which is the photo icon, and it'll pull up a page that allows you to search for images on Pixabay or Unsplash that are free for your use. Now, in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna do, let's say fall. Let's see what it brings up on fall. Another thing I am going to select is under any color, I'm going to select transparent. That way I don't have an image like this right here with all these flowers. That might look a little bit funny on a black and white book. So I'm gonna select transparent and hit search. And here we are, look at all these great images. We even got some pumpkins down here. We got some trees. This looks great. You can add whatever you think works best for the book that you're creating. Let's add this leaf right here. I think this looks kind of cool. Knowing that it will be in black and white, but I think that'll look pretty good on the book once it prints. We can put that right over here. You can also put it down here, wherever you'd like, just to make it make sense for when they go to actually enjoy that book. You wanna make it look complimentary to whatever you're doing. Now, once you're done having fun with the interior of the book, it's time to look at the cover page. And this is the cover page. Now, we could easily sit here and do some designs just like we did using the shapes, using the photos. You can plug in whatever you'd like. So for example, we could use a scary pumpkin if we wanted to. Click him in and there he is. Uh, let's see, we could actually put him right here at the top. Click on this icon and click on hide the cover template. What it does is that it hides that template so you can design for whatever you're trying to do. You can then add some words if you want to. So for example, you could do fall themed word search. And you can change the background. So right up here at the top, right where this white square is, if you click on that, you can select whatever color works best. So if we do like an orange theme for the fall, there you go. Now, a lot of people are gonna say that looks kind of basic. <laughs> How do you make it look a little bit better? That's where our third tool is gonna come into play. This tool is really kind of cool. It'll generate for us really nice looking images that we can then add into our book. Meet Mid Journey, another artificial intelligence tool that I have absolutely fell in love with. What you do is you go over to Discord, get yourself a free account, and then join the Mid Journey server. Then you can look for newbies, click on that, and you can generate up to 25 free images that you can use for personal use. Then once you're ready to rock and roll and get a side hustle going, then what you're gonna wanna do is actually pay for Mid Journey. So what I decided to do is the standard plan. Now you could start with the basic plan and then maybe scale up from there, but I jumped right into the standard plan. That also does give you general commercial terms, so that way you can use these images to sell books on Amazon. But I would recommend start out with the free trial, go check that out on Discord, type in a few things, see how it works, and then you can decide from there. So here we are on my Mid Journey account, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about a fall theme. Now we know our book is about eight and a half by 11, so I'm probably gonna adjust the aspect ratio to match that book. And I'll explain how easy this is in just a moment. So the first thing you wanna do anytime you talk to the Mid Journey AI is you want it to imagine something that it'll draw for you. So you type backslash, imagine and then it's going to ask you for a prompt here's where you type in exactly what you're looking for and be as unique as possible there are a lot of different things you can do i'm not going to go into full detail on mid journey although if you'd like me to in another video comment down below and i'll share with you some really cool images that i've been creating based on the prompts that i'm giving mid journey but for today we're going to keep it super basic illustrate a fall themed background with trees colorful leaves illustrate this as a cartoon i just want it to be a little bit more cartoony i don't want it to come up with a actual professional image as if somebody was out there and took it on a camera because mid journey can do that i want it to be a little bit more cartoony to look really cool on the front cover of our word search book then what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in two dashes and then type in a r eight colon 11 and that's just to make it a little bit more sized up for our book now remember our book was eight and a half by 11 so by doing eight 
to 11 aspect ratio, that's what the AR stands for, that gives us a little bit more flexibility in creating our book so we don't have to resize and waste a bunch of time. Then I'm gonna hit enter and let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. And here's what we got. Now it's gonna always generate you four images. So I'm gonna open these up so we can look at them a little bit closer. And let's see which one would be best. Um, it's totally your call, but I am going to select for today's video, the top left-hand side. I think this one looks kind of cool and uh, generates a little bit of a fall vibe for me. So right here down below, there's a lot of different options. Upscale and give me different versions. We're gonna look at upscale for now and it's rated one, two, three, four, and that is based on the image that you're selecting. One, two, three, and four. So because I'm interested in the top left-hand side, that would be image number one. So what we wanna do is upscale number one, that'll give us a bigger version of that image so that we can save it to our computer and upload it into our BookBulk Studio. I will tell you that Mid Journey version five, if you're familiar with the old versions, moves so much quicker and upscales so much better. So hopping back to the BookBolt Studio, of course, we're gonna get rid of this image, we're gonna get rid of this for now, and I'm gonna go to the image icon, and then go to my uploads, and then click the upload image. Find the image from Mid Journey that you just saved to your computer, and upload it into BookBolt. Click on that, and load it right in. And here we are with our image. I'm gonna actually stretch this out to reach all the different green lines. That way it goes right to the edge of the book and looks really, really kinda cool. I might actually change the background of the book just for fun. You can actually click on this little eyedropper tool right here. Come over here and let's make it look a lot like this tree. There we go, that looks very fall, I love it. Now I'm gonna add some text and basically say word search, meh, fall word search, something like that. Now one thing I do like to do is I like to screenshot uh, an example of the word search. So what you could do is come down here and take a screenshot of your first puzzle book. Once you do that, you can load it into your pictures and right there is our screenshot. Now, I'm gonna scroll this down a little bit and put it right here in the middle. I'm actually gonna add a few of these just to give everybody an example of some of the puzzles that they may interact with. I'm also gonna come down here and screenshot one of the solutions pages so that people know that there are solutions at the end of the book. Now, once you're ready, the final step is to publish it on Amazon KDP. What you wanna do, go to kdp.amazon.com, sign up for a free account, and get ready to publish your book. Up here in BookBolt, at the very top where it says download, click on that, and then click on download current project. It does take a little bit of time, sometimes you're in a queue because there's a lot of other people using this service, and then it'll download in a zip file all the stuff, all the contents that you need to upload directly into Amazon. Now, let's hop over to Amazon and get our book published. So here we are on KDP. Go ahead and sign in or create an account. And then what you want to do is click on Create right here at the top. Then what we're going to do is create a paperback book because this will be a paperback just like the one I created earlier, a dog-themed word search, just like this one here for fall. The book title, it's, oh, it's totally up to you, but I would recommend using the tips and tricks within BookBolt. I'll do another video on this in the future, but you can use all the different resources and tools to not only look at different keywords, you can look at categories, and you can look at what other books are performing and the keywords that they targeted. That way you can make sure that you're saying the right things to attract the right audience for your book. Fall themed word search. 25 great word searches in large print. Because remember, I did eight and a half by 11, so it is in large print. Come down here and type in your name, or you can go by a pen name if you have a different author name, and then your description. Now, you can do a couple things with the description. You can write in all the different features, or you can go back to ChatGPT and have the AI write you a description. I am going to publish this word search on Amazon. Write me a great description for that I can use. And look at that. And it remembers, of course, what we're doing. I didn't even have to remind ChatGPT that it was a fall-themed word search. It knew that because of the earlier conversation. Super cool. I'm gonna copy all of this and we'll dump it right into the description. Now, what I'm gonna do is say I own the copyright as long as you do own the copyright to your mid-journey images and everything else and then select some of the good keywords. I would recommend using the book bolt features for this, but what I'll do is I'll just type in fall themed word search, word search, large print, 
etc etc where you can either get a free isbn yeah you don't have to like go out and figure that out amazon will give you a free isbn you know the things that you see on the back of the book for like the library choose whatever publication date you wanted i'm going to select black and white interior with white paper and i'm going to change the trim size to meet exactly what i put into book bolt in this case it was eight and a half by eleven and i'm going to choose a glossy front i don't really like matte fronts on the cover i'd rather have a glossy front now the next step is to click on upload paperback manuscript and what we're going to do is look for that download that we got from bookbold specifically the interior pages now i'm using a mac but typically you can see either in windows or mac what you're looking at so you can see right here this is my cover that we designed but this one is the interior this is the one that we want to upload into the manuscript we're going to hit open it's going to upload that right into the Amazon KDP. And then the next step we're gonna do is upload our cover art. Click on upload a cover that you already have. Click on upload, select the one that it is, and hit open. Last step before we go to the pricing is to look at how our book looks. And you click on the launch previewer and that will take you there. Now you're gonna notice something that pops up and that is the printing cost. This is gonna be how much it costs us for Amazon to print and ship to the customer when they buy your book. Now I like to be a little bit competitive in the market. You can see the minimum is about $3.58, max is $2.50. Of course, if you price it at $250, I doubt anybody's actually gonna buy it. So I'm gonna just select $5.99. Now you're gonna notice that the royalty is only at $1.44 and you might be like, wait, 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 I did all this for $1.44? But once you get skilled at this and you're not actually instructing it like I am right now and you get going, I can knock one of these out in a matter of about 15 minutes. Scroll down here at the bottom and then once everything's set, click on publish your paperback book and guess what? Within 72 hours, your book will be on Amazon and people can search for it and buy it. Now, I highly recommend not just publishing one book because one book takes a long time to reach a mass of people. That's the power of AI and side hustles. Now, if you wanna learn more about some other side hustles that you need to know about, check out this video next. We'll see you on the next video.